Well, it's a beautiful sunny day at this sustainable house, and today's activity is to um, put in a brand new grow bed, and this is the bed here. So as you can see, we've got our aquaponic system, and we have our um, fish tank down here, which has um, been the um, subject of previous blog posts. And um, we also have the existing garden beds, which are made out of IBCs or totes, which are these things here. And um, basically, what we've done to create these these grow beds is we've cut one of those in half, and we've turned the top upside down, and obviously created um, two two beds. So um, today, I plan to extend the beds, and in this case, I'm using a commercial bed. It's a little bit uh, shallower than the the beds that I've put in so far, but it won't be much shallower. It'll only be maybe 40 50 mil shallower but um, as you can see it's quite a, a solid cons construction so what I've done to start with today and I'll come back at various stages through the day to, to demonstrate this process is I've um, used some Besser blocks and some um, sleepers to create uh, a raised platform for it the next step will be to put in um, an inlet uh, pipe from the um, uh, spider valve which I'll uh, address a little bit later as well and that will run through and that will probably come into this front front corner here because um, with the bed there it will be actually out of the way and it won't get knocked or, or broken as we service the bed and then the next step will be put in a drain valve and the drain valve will go roughly where this is I did cut this at a very odd angle so I'll clean that up a little bit later but we'll put the drain valve um, in here and we'll put a drain running back and into our fish tank so it'll be just like this one um, that you can see on the tank here now once all that's in place we're going to fill the bed with with water to make sure our level is good um, the level says it's good but we'll see how the water flows in here we'll mark our internal standpipe and cut that accordingly um, and then we can put the um, the gravel guard over the standpipe and fill the bed with some um, some washed river gravel and integrate it into the system I mean it's really that simple so the first step will be to um, to put in um, our um, our fittings, so our through tank fittings, and then we'll go from there. As I said, I'll come back periodically through the day and update you as we go along, um, so that you can see um, how the bed progresses. And hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll have a brand new bed with a few seedlings uh, planted amongst it. Okay, so now it's a little later in the day, and you can see where we're up to. So basically what we've done is we've put our standpipe in, our through hole for our drainage and our standpipe. And that runs back using this line here back into the fish tank. And I haven't put in the um, through hole for the inlet yet. The local hardware store actually didn't have any. So I'll do that at a later date. That's not a major problem because that will be up at the top or above the actual uh, gravel of the bed. So that's an easy one to put in after the fact. In the meantime, I'm using a rock. But what I'm doing now is I'm flooding the bed using the water from the fish tank um, or from the sump I should say and the whole point of this is to do two things first is to check that the pump um, given the pipe friction of the three quarter inch pipe which carries the water up for the inlet um, make sure that the pump is going to be able to fill the bed in the allotted time my pump runs for 15 minutes at this stage so I need to make sure that this bed will fill and actually felt will overfill, the standpipe will overfill in that time. So far so good. This pump has been running for about six minutes and as you can see it's pretty full. In the actuality when it comes time when I've got the gravel in here the gravel will displace about 55% of this water so right at the moment there's probably, it's, it's about a, a, um, a 500 litre bed so at the moment there's probably about 200 litres in here um, and that's probably about as much as it's going to have in it when it's fully flooded so it shows that the pump uh, volume is going to be just fine the other thing we're doing at this stage is we're checking the levels and we can see that this end is slightly deeper than that end the difference isn't huge it's probably maybe half a centimetre up to a centimetre but that's, pr that's, that's about ideal because what it means is this bed will drain completely it will mean that plants that like um, a little bit more water will be happier at this end than that end but they're all going to be just fine in here so I'm happy enough with the levels the other thing I'm doing here is I'm getting the level of my standpipe so my standpipe here is much taller than it needs to be and it's fully in and what happens is when the water gets up to the right level I'll mark the standpipe and, um, and then that will be where I'm going to cut it off I'll also mark the side of the bed at the, at the water level 
um, which will then allow me to make sure that my gravel that I put in will be at least an inch, preferably an inch and a half, deeper than the water um, flood level and that will prevent algal growth on top of the, the gravel because um, as, as it's all in the sun obviously. So anyway what we'll do is I'll continue with this um, process right at the moment and fill this up, I'll cut the standpipe and then we'll come back for the next stage of the day. Well, the, um, it's now towards the end of the day and finally we've got the bed done. So this is the new aquaponics bed. Um, obviously you've seen the steps in the video leading up to this point. So if I open up the, the top here, you'll see what we have is we have our standpipe down inside there and it's busily draining at the moment. We've planted it with a little bit of sage, um, which is these two here, and a couple of um, cucumbers. The cucumbers um, will still need a bit of protection at this time of year from um, evening frost, so um, I will set something up over them this evening, and then tomorrow I'll set up some uh, more permanent protection for them. But anyway, as you can see, it's been filled with um, three quarter inch gravel, so it's just um, river gravel, 20 mil, or three quarter inch uh, river, gra river gravel, and there's probably about um, oh, about 700 kilos um, of gravel in this bed. So now that it's um, completed, it can start running on the sequencing valve. So if I just come over here, and it's still a bit of a mess because there's more beds to go in, but this is the sequencing valve. And basically, the way this works is, if you look down the top here, you'll see that there's a little arrow on this um, on this little switch here and then the station is numbered one, two, three, and four. And basically what happens is, is as the pump turns on, this little um, switch will switch to one of the stations. So in this case, it'll switch from here to number two. And then what will happen is number two, which is this one here, will, will, will turn on. This actually runs back into the tank because this is designed for, um, for additional beds at a later date. But then once, that, once the pump turns off, so it'll run for 15 minutes, the pump will turn off for 15 minutes, then it'll turn back on. When it turns back on, the sequencing valve will automatically take it around to station three, and then that will actually water the bed we just put in. Um, and then it'll also turn off for 15 minutes, turn back on, it'll do, then do station four, which goes back into the sump. And then same deal, it'll go on to station one, which does um, the other two uh, tote uh, grow beds. So the reason I've used one and three for these is um, both of them are draining into this tank. So you can see this is um, bed three and this is bed one here and this is our uh, deep water culture. So basically I wanted to space them out so you get a, a fairly even flow of water through here. Once the other um, fish tank goes in at this end, it'll actually have uh, stations two and four draining into, into this fish tank. So the sequencing valve is a cl very clever little device. Basically, um, it works purely on the water pressure and on the um, pump turning on and off. So it's, um, it's yeah, it's a very, very clever little device. Well, anyway, that's the, um, the new garden bed at this sustainable house. Um, over the next few weeks, we'll see how it comes along. Hopefully, um, at some stage in the next week or two, the water will clear. Um, one of the downsides of this sort of gravel is um, it usually comes with a fair bit of dirt and dust on it. I did actually wash the gravel before I put it into the bed, but you never get it all off. So the water has gone quite turbid, and um, it's impossible to see the trout now. So but that should clear um, as it floods through. It'll actually redeposit back into the beds and form a, a sort of a silt layer at the bottom. But anyway, let's see how, how it goes, and I'll come back and revisit it in the regular uh, weekly aquaponics video series over the next um, uh, eight to ten weeks.